the fear of climbing up a coaster hill. Your adrenaline starts to pump. You look down, seeing the ground slowly crawl away. 100 feet, the people start turning into ants. The train finally reaches over the trees. 200 feet, the entire park is visible. One, two, three miles you can see. You start to grip your restraint tightly. 300 feet, the train finally crests over the hill and all of that fear turns into excitement. 90 miles per hour, the wind rushing through your hair. That is exactly what Giga Coasters do. The first of the Gigas opened in 2000 by the name of Millennium Force at Cedar Point, an amusement park in Northern Ohio. 20 years later, Orion opened at Kings Island, a park in Southern Ohio. People have been discussing which of these Gigas is superior. This is Orion versus Millennium Force. First, let's talk about the layouts. Afterwards, we will talk about some different categories and my overall thoughts on the ride. Orion and Millennium Force are very similar. They use a lot of the same elements. Millennium Force has a 300 foot drop, while Orion has a 301 foot drop. Even though there is a similar height, there is a big difference in the drops. Millennium Force's drop is very spread out. The ride reaches an 80 degree angle about halfway through the drop. Millennium Force really doesn't have airtime in the first part of the drop. Orion has airtime the entire way down the drop because Orion has a sharper apex. On Orion, you flow out of your seat the entire way down. A redeeming quality of Millennium Force's drop is that it's situated right next to Lake Erie. You really feel like that you are going to dive into the water, while Orion is just on a flat field of grass. Millennium Force flies through a very intense overbank turn to the right, while Orion takes a slight turn to the left. Orion's turn isn't really that great. I think it's meant for speed, but a lot of people thought it would be meant for airtime, which kind of disappointed a lot of people. It is very forceless though. Millennium Force's overbank, on the other hand, is very intense and causes people to gray out. Millennium Force flies through a tunnel into a pretty good floater airtime hill. This hill is pretty sustained, but the airtime isn't very strong. It's definitely one of the weaker moments of airtime on the ride. Orion dives through a very intense turnaround. This turnaround is very intense, especially at the bottom of it. It's a very sharp turn, and there's a lot of positive Gs at the bottom of the drop. Millennium Force goes through a pretty forceless helix, while Ryan heads through an awesome floater-filled speed hill. The airtime hill is epic and provides some of the best airtime on the ride. Riders are launched out of their seats. Millennium Force's helix is for speed, but overall it's pretty bland. It's very, very drawn out. Orion flies through a huge airtime hill, and Millennium Force flies through a very, very intense overbank. This is the most intense moment on the ride for Millennium Force. There are tons of lateral forces on this turn. Orion's airtime hill is magnificent, but it is hurt by the trim brake on the hill. The trim brake really slows down the ride and kind of ruins the pacing. Millennium Force flies into another airtime-filled hill, while Orion enters a very, very intense helix. This is the most intense element I've felt on a Giga and is the best element on the roller coaster. Millennium Airtime Hill is outstanding and provides some great floater airtime. It still is kind of weak though. Millennium then flies into a speed hill before going into one more overbank to end off the ride. This speed hill is very, very fun and the overbank is a bit boring. It is pretty thrilling flying past all the guests in the queue though. Orion takes a turn to the left with a weird floater moment to end off the ride. This moment is very fun because you aren't really expecting it. It almost feels like a wave turn on a Rocky Mountain construction coaster. Now that we have discussed the layouts, we can move into the categories. Each coaster will receive a number of points for how well they did. The coaster with the most points wins. Our first category is airtime. Orion gets the point here. Millennium Force has some great airtime, but overall, Orion has better and more airtime. Orion's airtime just feels stronger than Millennium Force's airtime moments. Millennium still has some great airtime though. Our next category is smoothness, and Orion takes the point yet again. I would expect Orion to take the point, as it is brand new, but it still has a tiny rattle, especially in the back row. Millennium Force has a bigger rattle, which is why Orion takes the point. Millennium Force is still one of the smoothest coasters I've ridden, even for this tiny rattle. Next up is setting. Millennium Force takes the point here. Millennium Force is right next to Lake Erie, and it darts through the forest. 
Orion is just on top of a field. Millennium Force really transports you into an entirely new setting. Millennium Force feels like a journey. Up next is Intensity. Millennium Force will take this one as well. Yes, Orion has that helix, and that is very intense. But overall, Millennium Force has more intense moments. These moments add up to be better than Orion's one intense moment. All of the overbanks on Millennium Force are very intense. Our final category is pacing. Millennium takes this one, and I will explain myself. I know a lot of people think that Millennium Force isn't that great in pacing. Millennium does have a few moments that are pretty mediocre, but it keeps the speed very well. Millennium Force is still hauling in the middle and at the end of the ride, while Orion really isn't. Orion is still going very quickly, but it has many moments where it loses a ton of speed, like the turnaround and the trimmed airtime hill. Overall, Millennium Force just feels faster than Orion, so that means Millennium Force is our winner. The score was 3 to 2. Congratulations, Millennium Force. Now for my thoughts. I do agree that Millennium is the better ride here. Millennium Force brings the whole package. Duration, intensity, airtime, and pacing. Orion has a lot of great moments, and it's still a phenomenal coaster, but it lacks a few things which brings it down. Even though Orion has better airtime moments, Millennium Force's other elements stack up against Orion. Overall, Millennium Force is just superior. Now this is just my opinion. Feel free to post your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button, and I will see everyone next time.